be having Cobra versus MSB coming up here. So this is definitely a very sort of like match of opposites in a way. Arasa being a very fast light character, um, focuses on short range, and Krag being more of a big heavy with some phenomenal long range options. Yeah, it's going to be deciding on whether uh, Raster can get over that dangerous mid-range to be able to get in or not. And obviously just try to avoid the heavy-hitting attacks, but that is a really bad spot to be in as Craig. Uh, Cumbra not able to quite take advantage of the little rock lemon in his hands, though. Yeah. Ooh, and a little bit too hard on the DI out there from MSB. Right, really good catch on the side, probably expecting the up smash, which is why he was holding the side out there, and then the drift out into the DIO just killed him at such an early percent for Craig. Yeah. Hard read there from MSB. One in the tech read. Yeah, trying to get the uppies in the center whenever uh, Cobra is advancing in space, but the unfortunate misinput on the neutral B will put him into a rough spot off stage as uh, NSB is just sending out the rocks and taking advantage of the down smash to be able to take the stock. Yeah. In that case, look, the up strong. Ooh, I don't... Yeah, MSB can't live that. I feel like MSB probably has some of the best recoveries of any Rivals player, but sometimes... just can't. Mm-hmm. Also, like, personally, I think MSB is probably one of my favorite Rivals players to watch. I feel like super creative with how he uses crack tools. Kind of makes me enjoy the character a lot more than most other players. But that right... creativity won't be able to get him through game one as Cobra takes it as a 2-0 over. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of fancy rock play won't really matter if you're constantly in hit stun, I guess. That's really just how I think the best way to describe that game was Cobra just kind of smothering MSB, not giving him any chances to breathe. Drown in the man in his superior frame data. Yep. It's definitely how this matchup can go sometimes. Like, uh, with the rasters that really know what they're doing in the matchup. Mm -hmm. right, and we see it just like. Good neutral wins from uh, MSB at the start there, but then just one conversion evened it up and now made it into Cobra's advantage, and it's something that you have to be so careful in this matchup. Yeah. I mean, like, sure, Raster will sometimes have to take a really long time to kill Krag and just a ton of neutral wins, but Raster has the tools to make those neutral wins happen against Krag. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if you can survive at high percents if you keep getting put into combos. Great tech and aggression from uh, the side of Cobra there in response to getting hit. Yeah. And that oh, almost dying to the nair off the side, but that was good DI out because if he DI that in, that was an up air or a forward air and you were dead. Yeah. I feel like a DI from both players looking out for these reversals. Ooh, the awareness from MSB there, knowing he teched last time and then waiting out the tech to get the punish. Yeah, the techs too are like just phenomenal from both players. Ooh, being wary of the down smash and it working out in his favor, but in a very bad spot holding rock and having to desperately try to get back. Yeah. Able to just barely do it. Pull the trigger a little too late. Right now, big combos coming out on the side of MSB, putting Cobra in. The biggest thing that's scary about this matchup is as a uh, raster at any percent, a good hit, and you might just be dead if you DI is lately wrong. Yeah. Ooh. We're going all the way out there, making sure that parry gets rewarded. Mm -hmm. Really good awareness to know that MSB would move away and not trying to uh, immediately get the punish, which is what we see a lot from people not experienced in the Krag matchup. Ooh, MSB not going for the edge cancels, so will be stuck in the parry stun, allowing uh, Koba a little bit of room and able to land and get the parry, trying to use the rock for his own own devices, but not the knowledge to use it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and that's what I was oh. talking about earlier. Yeah, sometimes you just die. And I mean, Cobra's the third raster we've seen so far, I believe. Um, so we've, we've all have finally seen at this point how sometimes character just randomly is gonna 
no longer be alive. Mm -hmm. And Cobra going down low, knowing that he was looking to get the uh, pillar at the side of the wall there. MSB now ahead this game, and Cobra just desperately trying to get back in from this edge guard situation yeah. and dying for it. Yeah, good little chop right there. And that that's where Krag really shines in the matchup, when Raster misses that sort of mid percent, just going on high percent kill window. Um, after that point, it's super hard to actually figure out how you're supposed to kill Krag. You can sometimes mm -hmm. live to like 200. Yeah, the Marfritis, it can be really strong with uh, a lot of characters that fill the same type of spot as uh, Raster does in this game. Yeah. On the other end of the coin, too, like, Krag isn't very... Krag isn't too bad at finding just random kills like that. He has a lot of powerful tools that can just kind of catch you out of the air. Yeah, and it's, and it's not even just, like, the power of them and how good they hit, but also how hard they are to DI on top of that. Like, if you don't... If you get hit by Kragfair and don't immediately drift out after the DIN, you're just dead to the next one. So yeah. it's not even just the kill power of the initial flare that's the problem, it's the kill power of just the conversion afterwards as well. Yeah, that's definitely true. I think MSB doesn't have a pillar here, but... but we will just barely avoid the uh, kill confirm, and yeah. now still we're holding on to that stock at 141%. Both these flyers are just kind of using the moves they have to barely escape the opponent's kill moves. Right, good rollout on the side of Cobra to avoid the down smash, and now putting uh, the edge guard situation, but even as quickly as I go to say that, it's already done. Yeah. I have noticed, I feel like MSB is starting to get a little, a little feisty to get a Waveland down strong or something of the sort. Mm -hmm. Trying to. And the one thing that. Cobra has been doing really well is having these hasty decisions that work well to avoid when MSB isn't willing to wait, but the minute that MSB has decided to wait, it's worked out a lot more in that favor, and I wonder if we'll see that more as this set comes off. Yeah, definitely. I feel like a string here from Cobra, I'm just gonna keep going. But now MSV answering back with Zone, delivering a 44% in uh, return, but good DI to be able to afford the conversion, and the clap not quite able to take it. Yeah, so gonna be living here. Oh, is that? That's gonna be it. Huh. MSV now behind for the first time in two games, and will have to make this climb back up. the strings here from MSB, or from Cobra rather. Yeah, MSB was watching here was getting his strings, so it's most of his combos have been just the bread and butter couple of hits, but Cobra, whenever he has been getting his uh, wings onto the crag, onto the beetle, he's been making very good opportunities with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, MSB, over like laughing percent, and at kill percent. Not for much longer, to be fair. Like, Cobra kind of needs to find the option right now, or Krag's gonna be living for a good while longer, but it's it's not looking great for MSB at this particular moment. Mm -hmm. Because he's been really struggling at getting those uh, mid percent conversions, which is why Cobra's been able to hold on to stocks for as long as up to 158% as we saw there. And where Cobra very much so has been able to get a good conversion off of almost every percent. But now he's in that scary spot where he has to make this conversion and he has to DI that right! Oh! Yeah. That's what I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes Krag just bears twice or three times and you die. And in the wrong situations like that, there really isn't much you can do about it. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to just on a dime react to the fact you've been hit by fair and then immediately drift out. Otherwise, you're just eating that next one, and that one's the one that's going to guarantee your stock. Yeah. Crag fair isn't fair. An MSB one game away from when your side top eight. But Cobra won't give it to him easily, already starting off uh, with the 28% um, uh, reduction on the side of MSB, but catching up quickly, and it's looking like Cobra isn't as comfortable in this game as he has been in the previous other two, looking a bit more like the game 2 we saw in this set. 
Oh! <laughs> Dying to just try to drift out away from it. Yeah, I could <laughs> fear. Sometimes it's the, all you need. The no spike spike. Grimmer spiking through the air. Exactly. Another. Ooh, good attack. Good awareness. Yeah, another good attack. Nakoba's been on point with those so far this set, and MSB has not been taking advantage of it. Okay, ooh, Zach. very good. Scary spot to team. Yep. That's oh, it. one mistimed air dodge, and that's your stock. Great yeah. awareness on the side of Koba. I, I honestly don't know if MSB could have done anything after that point. No, and he was forced to be in because he would not be able to recover from that far out. And at least in a way that wouldn't be just totally risky. Yeah, I mean, even, I know it's Krag, but like, that was still Rasen air in the boss end. Like, oh my god. Oh my, Cobra just came in hot that game. Yeah. Damn. Showing off, Raster's punish game. Definitely my something man. you've got to be afraid of. My manual, I hit my fair twice and went, no, 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 that ain't happening. We're not okay with that. We're coming in. Yeah, he, he wanted he wanted that Joe's back kind of pick to work out, and by God, he made it work out. But here we, we are. The first, the first big stage we've seen this set, as it looks like MSB wants to play neutral a little bit more this game. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Maybe possibly trying to make it a little bit harder for Raster to get those, make those kill confirms happen. Mm -hmm. The other type of last ones at the edge might not work in the favor that he wants. Though if Cobra does continue to DI in the fairs the way that he wants, then... Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, even with the big blastons, Krag is still really good at killing in spite of big blastons. Mm -hmm. So... Well, you can't really put as much pressure in the corner as you can on, like, you know, Jules fail with the platform out. You still have a ton of good options. Back. Oh, and I love that. Looking for the attack right there and being ready to punish it. Well, we got the throw combos, but the up air not able to connect with anything but the rock itself. Ooh, great awareness, knowing that he's looking for the down air to try to steal that rock from him yeah, and I, hang I, him for it. I love the patience to just kind of sit in there. This is my rock. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to with it. And the first stock going inside of MSB, sitting at 100%, almost in that Marfritis portion of... Oh, I thought that was going to be the stock, but the Super Army able to come into uh, MSB's advantage. And oh, looking for the Schmeet. No. No scroll. Right, really good awareness on uh, MSB for the DI there, which has been saving, which has been allowing, when he's been correct on those assumptions, allowing these stocks to survive as much as they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is the part where... I could very well survive for quite a while longer. Okay, maybe Ooh. not. Going deep into the blast zone, this time hitting the spike, so dying only by the hands of Cobra on that time. Yeah. So I'm surprised that didn't purple. Ooh, really good rock shark placement. Oh my god, that was so good. Like that consistency with the rock breaks and then noticing the DI and jumping up there to punish, that was so good on the side of MSP, and he deserves yeah. that two fuck lead he has now. Phenomenal. Phenomenal ledge chaffing. Lapping in percent here, more than a full stock ahead. Yep. Cobra has shown a tendency to not be comfortable play from behind, and we're seeing it with his decision making here, kind of tossing out moves, just kind of hoping to get those hits instead of being a little bit smarter with it, and hopefully he can change his game plan in time, otherwise he is going to lose this set. Yeah. I mean, like, when Cobra does get those hits, he's just so good at making the most of them in most situations, but... Something about this stage, it's been a little bit rough. Oh, oh just coming in, tapping him on the head, and telling him now, nah, boy, you're out! You're going to lose it! Send him Woo! to the Shadow Realm, and that is going to be MSV. <laughs>